Admirably, 20th Century Fox refuses to give up on Percy Jackson, but should Logan Lerman? While 2010's The Lightning Thief failed to leave a Harry Potter-level scar on the box office, worldwide it still managed to make its money back, so Fox will try again this summer with Sea of Monsters. Unfortunately, though, in the three years since The Lightning Thief, star Logan Lerman has yet to raise his own box office profile. He's been teetering on the edge of teeny bopper stardom for some time now, but has been unable to join the ranks of Zac Efron, Chloe Moretz, or the Harry Potter crew. The Lightning Thief was supposed to be his ticket to the big leagues until it wasn't. However, he did star opposite Hermione in The Perks of Being a Wallflower last year, showing off some impressive acting skills if not any box office muscle, and perhaps even an alternate route to movie stardom. Perks showed Lerman transitioning into an adult actor as he tackled adult themes, and as a result has landed him a supporting role in Darren Aronofsky's Noah opposite Russell Crowe, and the lead in The Only Living Boy in New York for Mark Webb, the director who's already worked wonders for Lerman's contemporaries Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Andrew Garfield. With these developments in mind, is it wise for him to continue to keep one foot in his teen heartthrob past, especially considering how little luck he's had there? Lerman has had so little heat he could only make three films in between Percy Jackson flicks. Perks, the dead on arrival Three Musketeers, and this summer Stuck in Love, where he plays second fiddle to Greg Kinnear. And now he's returning to Percy Jackson, a risky move that could either give him a much needed box office win or perhaps one loss too many. How is the sequel shaping up? Well, the good news is, is that the small but loyal fan base is still around. And while some of the first film's bigger stars like Uma Thurman, Pierce Brosnan, Rosario Dawson, and Steve Coogan have abandoned Olympus, Sean Bean continues to rule as Zeus, while Stanley Tucci, Mark Hamill, and Nathan Fillion, another cult status heartthrob whose career never quite materialized, join in as the new gods. Furthermore, Sea of Monsters is being converted to 3D in post, which should at least be good for a few extra box office dollars. So what do you think? Is Fox wise to continue with the Percy Jackson movies? And is Lerman wise to keep playing him? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.